Okay, now I'd like to talk about the empirical rule on the bell curve. That is, the empirical rule only deals with normal distributions. Normal distributions are basically histograms that look like this. Now remember, this is actually a histogram. It's a whole bunch of bars, but we're, we're imagining that we've took, taken so much data. I mean, it's not always going to be perfect. But we've taken so much data that it has smoothed itself out to be a curve like this. Now, there's a couple things. First of all, the very middle of the curve is the mean. And it's also the median. So what we're saying is for a normally distributed piece of data, for heights, for instance, if you took all the heights of all the men in all of the world and divided by the, added them all up and divided by the number of men, you would get the average, the mean height. And it would happen to be that that would be basically the median height. Half of the men in the world would be taller than that, half of the men in the world would be smaller than that. Now, the empirical rule adds to that sort of concept the concept of standard distribution, uh, standard deviation. Standard deviation. The empirical rule says that if we go ahead one sigma, or we go back one sigma to a point called x bar plus sigma, or back to a point x bar minus sigma, what we do is we have 68%. 68% of all the men in the world are within one standard deviation of the average. And it's not just that. It happens for women, too. It happens for lengths. It happens for weights. It happens for so many things. So we also know by the, the empirical rule that if we go not just plus or minus one sigma ahead of sigma, but ahead another sigma to x plus two sigma, or we go back a sigma and back a sigma to x minus two sigma, then what we have is 95% of all of the data is going to fit within there. And finally, if we go plus or minus three standard deviations, we get what the lay people say, one, two, three, if we go ahead, three sigmas, or and also back three sigmas, we get 99.7, 99.7% of everything is in that range. But that means that some things aren't in that range. That means that 0 0.03, no, just 0.3 percent, 0.3 percent is where? It's here and here. And because this is symmetric, that means that half of that, this is 0 0.0, no, this is 0.15 percent, and this is 0.15 percent. And we can do this sort of reasoning with all of these. We can not only do that with the 99.7, the three sigmas up and down, we can do this with all of them. For example, what's the best way of illustrating this? Well, now I'm in the blue. Whatever. Um, let's do the, 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 the sig signal sigma. This is x bar. If we go ahead a sigma, or go back a sigma, a standard deviation. And remember, if I gave you the data and you knew how to use your calculator to do this sort of thing, the calculator will tell you what a sigma is given a large amount of data. Uh, you know, the, the, the crude way of saying is how much you have to go forward or backward from the mean in order to get 68%. There's 68% in here. Let's see, 100 minus 68 is 292. 32% is outside. Of that, 16% is over here, and 16% is over there. Remember these numbers. And finally, for the 99.5, well, no, the, the 95, whoosh, that's not a very good bell curve. Uh, sigma x bar, if we go back two sigmas, sigma and sigma, 
let's see, our forward two sigmas, sigma and sigma, we get 95% all in here, which means that 5% is outside, which means that this is 2.5% and this is 2.5%. Where does this take us? What this takes us is, we um, basically what we're going to talk about is everything up to some point. If we have a normal distribution, we have some normally distributed data, most things are normally distributed, then what have we said so far? We've said that here's your, your, um, your one uh, standard deviation, this is x bar minus a sigma, this is x bar minus two sigmas, this is x bar minus three sigmas, this is going to be x bar plus a sigma, this is x bar plus two sigmas, and this is going to be called x bar plus three sigma. Let's see if I can remember these numbers. Everything up to this point was 0.15%, not so much. Everything up to this point was, let's see, it was 95%, 2.5%. Everything up to this point was 16%. Everything up to this point is 50% because it's half and off everything up to this point what is that well the stuff over here was 16 percent so it's 16 percent well if it's 16 percent then half of that is 84 percent so everything up to this is 84 percent and everything up to in here was 2.5%. So everything up to here is going to be 100. That from 100, it's not quite 98. It's 97.5. Everything up to there is 97.5%. And finally, everything up to here is everything all everything up except the 0.15 which is 99.85 that seems wrong nope that is right 99.85 percent what is this um what we're going to do and i'm going to get into this in a little bit more detail we're going to call the use these with we're going to call use what's called z scores and z score this is going to be a z score of 1 0 1 2 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 that is negative 3 standard deviations away from mean minus 2 standard deviations you subtract 2 this is plus and the corresponding numbers are going to be 0.15% um although I think we're going to do them without t decimal points so this is going to be called 0 0.0015 and this is going to be 0 0.025 and 0.16 and 0.5 and 84 is 0.84 and 0.975 and 0.9985 roughly and what is this going to mean if I give you a z-score and a number it means everything up to two standard deviations more than the mean is going to be 97.5 percent because if I say my goodness my cousin is in Japan making 80 million um, yen a year you say is that a lot I have no idea how much a yen is uh, I don't know what a yen is, I'm just making up that number. What we need to know is, or if I say, oh, I just caught a cobra that was 11 feet long. You say, is that unusual? I mean, it's kind of unusual that you caught a cobra, but is that a long cobra or a short cobra or whatever? What we do is, to have a, a, a feel for how unusual or usual something is, we need to know what the average is. My cousin's making 80 million yen a year, and the average person makes 100 million yen a year. I'm making up these numbers. Oh, so in other words, your cousin is making less than usual. But, okay, but is that within sort of the usual range? What we want to know is, ah, I'll get into this in the next video, but the question is, how unusual are things? To know how unusual something is, it helps to know what is the mean, 
what is average, and then how much do things go up and down? I mean, if the average person makes a hundred somethings, and it goes, and, and the standard deviation is one, that means that two thirds of the people are making between 99 and 101. That means that 99.7% of the people are making between 97 and 103. That's called a very small deviation. That means that people are all really close together on that. If I said that the average person made 100 and the standard deviation was 20, then 68% are going between 80 and 120. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I'm going to make another one in just a second.